Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about ESXi and how to create a bootable ESXi image in Windows. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is download Rufus. This is the application that we're going to utilize to mount our image file, which is the ISO file of VMware, and then we're going to plug in. I think I already have my USB plugged in that I want to utilize, and I want to show you guys how to do that. All right, so here on my desktop, we have a create a bootable USB. It's pretty much the easy way. It's pretty much very, very simple, right? It's super simple. So we can just download Rufus 3.15. That's fine. And I want to run this. Hit yes there. Sorry. And then go ahead. Do you want to allow Rufus? To, uh, I guess, yeah, it's fine. We can check for updates. So that's pretty much it, right? We have our program here, okay? And we are gonna use this USB because that's the only USB I have plugged in at the moment. So if you don't see any USB, make sure you plug in one of these little guys. Uh, this is a 32 bit or 32 gigs. I don't know if you can see it, but it's 32 gigs. And this one I have plugged in is 16 gigs. So what we can do here now, we're gonna go ahead and browse out to the ISO file that I have, okay? So let's go ahead and select image, click on select. We're gonna go out to my documents. I wanna click on, uh, do, 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 where is my, I, I guess I put it in Windows OS. So we have VMware right here. This is my VMware uh, installer, okay? So I wanna go ahead and hit open here. And then what do we see here? We see a whole bunch of things that changed we can literally leave everything as is, right? We can leave the, the volume label as whatever you want, as is, or you can change this, right? I wanna leave it as is. This is ESXi 6.7 and it's standard edition, okay? So after you're done with that, pretty much all you have to do is hit start, okay? Once we hit start, it's gonna say this ISO, blah, 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 you know, just hit yes. You know, you want to connect to the internet for downloading, hit no. Or is it choose no to leave the existing? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So that's fine. We don't care about any of the data that's on there because we're going to format and install ESXi. So we can hit OK here. Okay. So this is going to take a few minutes to do. Once this is done, we're going to go back into File Explorer and make sure our ESXi is ready to go. Obviously, I'm gonna be installing a new server for a project that I'm working on. So I'm creating this video to create this bootable drive because I needed to do that anyway. And I figured I'd show you guys how to do that. It's very, very simple. You see it, it took literally two minutes. It's not very hard at all, okay? Once this is done, we'll go ahead and check on File Explorer and make sure our uh, ESXi is set up, good to go. All right, so we'll give this a couple seconds, about 88%. 95, and it's finito, okay? You hit that ding, and now it's it's good to go. Now we can close this. Now we can go back to our file explorer, and now we see here ESXi. We can click on this, and we can see all, this, all these files, and it's ready to go. So literally, if we take this, Take it and plug it into my server that's going to be coming in any day, and we should be good to go. All right, so until next time, that's pretty much how you create a bootable ESXi image in Windows. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And until next time, have a good one.